Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a BR185.6 electric locomotive in Railpool livery. During this brief introduction we will go through the critical driving controls and freight operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. In normal operation, this unit draws electricity from the overhead catenary via a pantograph. However, since the pantograph is currently in the down position, we have to power the initial system. Take a seat in the driver's position. This is where you'll be spending most of your time. With power available, use the reverser to activate the control desk. We'll need to wait for the brake system to charge. Now activate the pantograph so that it makes contact with the overhead catenary. The locomotive... The reverser determines the direction of travel. For this introduction, we'll be driving the train a short distance before bringing it to a stop. The locomotive is already coupled to a train of wagons, so we'll be using the train brake. Release the brakes by setting the train brake to the running position. This train is now ready to depart. Apply some power to get moving. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force using the train brake.
We will now need to slow the train down and bring it to a stop. Use the train brake to apply some braking force. Good work, the train has stopped safely. That concludes all the basics of operating this locomotive. There we go with the Railpool BR185.6 introduction for the Fran de Rampi, for Dresden Chemnitz, for Train Sim World 2. Like and subscribe to Australia Worldwide Gaming, turn that notification bell on. And also follow us at social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter. Links are on the screen now for other Fender de Rampy scenarios. And there is uh, introductions on the screen as well.